previously on Map Wars. Hey Jeremy, bad news. I dislocated my shoulder. He's getting some x rays. I'm out for Matt Wars. It's going to be at least three months. On this season of Matt Wars King of the Mat, we bring you the same fast paced grappling action, only this time with a twist. Our champion won't know who his match is against or if it's gi or no gi, but there's even more at stake. Whoever wins won't just win the match, but will win the right to continue his reign as Matt Wars, King of the Mat. Uh, it's exciting and um, yeah, I love to compete. I've taken some time off over the holidays, uh, dealing with some health issues and now I feel like I'm coming back strong and healthy. Took a nice break and I'm ready to get back in there so I was naturally very excited, any form of uh, competing. Yeah, he's a big guy who moves well, you know, I think I think he weighs probably 200 or maybe more. Uh, I know he's technical and, uh, you know, he's, he's a tough role, so I, I know that he's going to bring bring some skill to the table and some uh, definitely a size advantage as well. In a perfect world, I'd probably pick Nogi because I think I have a, a little bit more of a, le a leg lock game than most of the local competitors, but, um, you know, I want to compete in the gi more. I said to myself this was the year that I was going to revamp my gi game hopefully, so more matches in the gi work for me. And if it happens to land uh, in an ogi match, I'm, I'm excited to show what I can do with the leg locks and, uh, and uh, how I fight without the gi as well. Uh, when I heard there was going to be a new star that wasn't going to be Micah, I kind of automatically assumed to be Matt. Uh, there's a lot of high level guys around uh, the lower mainland, but he's one of the best, so it just kind of makes sense that he would be the next uh, next star. Uh, honestly, I've been training a lot of leg locks. I know Matt's been training a lot of leg locks. Honestly, most of what I know I've learned from his seminars or his professor Rob's seminars, so I know he's a little ahead of the game there, uh, but I've developed quite the leg lock game myself. Hopefully I'm not going to have to use it at all, I'll be able to avoid it completely. Um, other than that, I'm just a little bit bigger than him. I've probably got 20, maybe 25 pounds on him, so hopefully if somehow I get on top, I'll be able to stay on top and uh, make him feel my, my weight. Uh, if I could choose, I'd like to compete in the gi, again, just because I'm bigger. I'd like to get a handle on him if I'm on top of him. Uh, I know Matt's a big star in the no gi. He competes a lot in no gi. He's got a lot of big wins in no gi. So I can't see there being an advantage to me fighting him in no gi. Honestly, last time I had a chance to get on top. It was an IBJJF tournament. I made a mistake. He got ahead on points, and then I had to start kind of running from behind. So hopefully. I just don't make that mistake again and I can somehow get up on points or at least get up on position and then ride it out. So Ryan gets to flip the coin and heads will be no gi, tails will be gi. In the gi, it's IBJJF rules, so no heels, but no points as well, so it's still sub only. With no gi, it's everything goes, EBI rules, so heel hooks, everything like that.
I was happy with my performance. I wasn't happy with how tired I was. Um, I was happy that I was able to get out of a lot of things. I usually get out of a lot of submissions every day, so it wasn't surprising me. I was able to get out. I find at the end I was more tired than anything. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, and the armbar, the first armbar was reasonably deep. Uh, knee bar and toe hold, I got pretty rubber joints, so I was pretty safe there. Um, honestly, I was just hoping to be able to catch him. I was reaching for toe holds all the time when we were kind of mutually face to face sitting a lot. I wasn't able to get anything going. Um, yeah, Matt's slippery. Like, I wasn't able to really stay on top of him or get anything that I really wanted working for me. So I was kind of scrambling the whole time. Uh, I'd do it again if I got a chance to. Yeah, you know, it's sub only, so the mindset's a little bit different. It's a little bit more uh, more playful, but um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm honestly not really happy with a lot of the attempts. Uh, I think, you know, if I did it properly, he shouldn't have escaped, so definitely gotta sort of look at those as, you know, try to find what I can work on from a victory like that. And uh, yeah, I had a few submissions that I think I should have finished, but clearly they weren't uh, weren't tight enough, so, but I did get the arm bar at the end, and yeah, happy with that, I guess. Uh, your mechanics are all wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I gotta tighten up some stuff, clearly. There's a few submissions there I definitely, uh, you know, think I should have finished. Uh, the arm bar at the end is kind of one of my go-tos, so, you know, I didn't want to have to resort to something like that, but, you know, that's how it goes sometimes, and when he, when he defended the first arm bar in that uh, bow and arrow attempt from standing, I knew it was going to be a fight, and had to take it to him after that, and didn't want it to go to overtime, because I always try to finish in regulation if possible.